Hi everyone, my name is Frankie DiPernando and I am the director of the Lewis and Clark Prom Gambling Services Clinic. And I'm gonna chat with you for a couple minutes today um, to tell you about myself and about an opportunity that we have um, for you all with our clinic at PGS. So um, a little bit about myself. So I graduated from Lewis and Clark several years ago through the PMHCA program. And when I entered the program, I had very little clinical experience. And so when I heard about PGS um, and potentially becoming a volunteer, I jumped on it um, and I'm really glad that I did. So um, it was really helpful for me because at PGS, um, volunteers play a major role. So um, what I was able to gain from that experience was I was in classes learning about theory and interventions and building therapeutic alliance and all these great things. Um, but at the same time, I was able to actually see that play out because of my time at the PGS clinic. So I was able to watch live sessions, consult with my peers who were seeing clients at the time. I was a part of group supervision. So what I was learning in classes was really, I was really absorbing it more because I was at the same time seeing it happen at the clinic. Um, so every year PGS um, opens up volunteers in the fall for new people to join our team. So. Before I get into how we would do that, I just want to back up and a little bit and talk about gambling addiction because I know we don't hear much about it. Um, we usually hear about alcohol or drug use, right? So um, it's important to understand that gambling addiction is a lot more prevalent than we think that it is. So I want to give you a couple of facts. So for every one ATM machine, there are two video poker machines. And video poker is the primary um, way that people gamble. One in seven individuals seeking residential treatment for alcohol or drug use is struggling with a gambling disorder. Brain images show that the same brain pathways that are, are impacted by gambling addiction are the ones that are also impacted by a substance addiction. Also, um, previous studies have shown that emergency department visits for domestic violence they were more related to gambling versus alcohol use. So while our community doesn't talk much about gambling uh, addiction, it's why we call it the hidden addiction, it actually impacts individuals and families at an alarming rate. So when clients find us, they're incredibly grateful because um, there are only a few gambling specific treatments in Multnomah County, Lewis and Clark being one of them. Um, there's only three total. So it's important to note also that while our clinic focuses on gambling addiction, people who are seeking services are also struggling with usually relational issues because we know that addiction impacts the family. Um, also some mental health issues, right? Because people who are um, uh, struggling with an addiction are usually doing that um, to cope with some underlying mental health symptoms, depression, anxiety, trauma related symptoms. And then lastly, most video poker machines are in casinos and bars where alcohol is served. So there's usually people coming in with substance use addiction as well. So we treat the whole person and the whole family um, and we're not just focusing on the gambling addiction. Um, while that's the priority, we're also having to focus on all these other things as well because um, each one impacts the other, right? So. It's really great experience. Um, again, every year we open up in the fall um, to new volunteers. And again, volunteers play a major role. So they help schedule clients, they help coordinate our outreach events, they help with training in the community. So every once in a while, once every couple of months, we'll go out to mental health agencies or addiction agencies and train staff on gambling addiction and how to screen. Um, that way, more people are screening and more people are giving access to clients um, for treatment. Also, if you joined our team, we send you to the uh, Problem Gambling Pre-Certification class, which gives you the educational hours to become a certified gambling addiction counselor. And we send you to the regional conferences. So you get tons of training, tons of experience. You get networked into the community. If you're new to the Portland area, um, you'll meet other providers and start making those connections. So um, while I am biased, um, I do think this is a great opportunity 
And if you want more information, we're having an informational meeting September 19th on a Saturday. So please feel free to reach out to me, um, ask me any questions, and I'd love to get you signed up for the informational meeting um, to give you some more information. So hope you all enjoy the rest of orientation and I will talk to you all soon. Thank you.